Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at RPG 4.0, which is Leonardo's model that is used to generate character portraits for the ability with the ability for great photorealism. So, in order to use the model, you have to go on Leonardo. You can find this model here. Click here and click on generate with this model. So now let's try generating these 10 ideas with the model itself. So the first prompt we wanted to generate was a fierce dragon slaying knight with a broadsword and plate armor. And this is the output using the RPG 4.0 model. The output itself is not bad. You look at the knight here, it does look fierce and seems like someone who may be slaying dragons. Next I tried cunning elven rogue with a bow and pair of arrows. Arrows dressed in dark leather armor. The armor itself is black and the bows are all messed up. All of the bows are messed up. Next one which is the wise wizard with long white beard and flowing ropes carrying a staff. I think this is great, this generation. I think this one is good. This one too is good. And this one looks, I think, realistic too. You can see the hand is messed up. And that's the case with any model these days. Next, we looked at a half orc barbarian with battle axe and fur armor covered in tribal tattoos. Note that we've not used any negative prompts. So when you use negative prompts, the fine tuning of the model eliminates cases like, uh, you know, misaligned hand, or broken stuff or bow not being correct etc well again this too looks very realistic the person or the character looks like an orc and more barbaric and big in that sense all of these have tattoos for some reason anyways oh yeah i've mentioned tribal tattoos so yeah next we look at graceful and deadly samurai warrior wielding a katana and adorned in traditional japanese crap Think the generation is fine again it looks like the hand and the swords are messed up but overall the generation uh, looks okay next we tried previous halfling thief with a sling and pocket full of tricks seems like someone who's who cannot be a thief but that's exactly the kind of character you'd suspect right so they i don't see a sling i think this this specific character is trying to hold something like a sling but the sling itself is not aligned this i think this looks like a sling and the pocket full of tricks yeah seems like they all have pocket not sure if they have tricks especially this one does right next we tried uh, a powerful mystical sorceress with enchanted stuff and flowing ropes of shimmering silk i think all the generations are fine uh, and way too RPG role playing or you know mythical in that sense or mystical in that sense so yeah these generations look good next we tried a brutish dwarf with a war hammer and sturdy plate armor plate mail armor adorned with intricate dwarven symbols weird there's a belly button here but this looks super cool it has dwarven symbols the armor looks fine and yeah the generation looks like a dwarf a nimble agile acrobat with a pair of deadly size and lightweight leather armor messed up here none of these look deadly there's no anyway i'm just gonna skip this one does not look so good a generation next we tried generating a mysterious alluring vampire with piercing eyes and a cape of shadows and i think these generations are aligned in that. that's all i kind of wanted to try through with the model itself I hope you were able to see the kind of output that RPG 4.2 can generate for you. Try this model out for yourself. The link to test Leonardo is in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.